Hi guys, Bleach here. What is this? See, I had attempted to exile scene, but look at this thing that Gypsy got me. It's this really awesome bowl. It's a bowl, Gypsy. It's not a bong. Although there are a lot of them confused. Newbies would we confuse them. But um, this is a bowl. And it, you don't fill it with water like a bong. You can find all sorts of videos on this stuff on YouTube. But what you do to use this thing is you, you put a little weed in there. Just put a little bit of the bud. I don't use a screen. I'm so worried I won't be able to clean this thing because it's so weird. It's not like my pipe. And I'm worried I won't be able to clean it. And I hope I can clean it. It may get dirty in the future. I may use this on special occasions, just when I need to, something else. But it is glass. If you do drop it, it will break. You have to be careful with it. But what you do is you put a little weed in there, and you and you can either hold this thing and suck when you got the weed in there if you let it. Or I just pump it like that sometimes because I want it to go out. I only want to do a little bit. You only really need one the four hits. You really don't need to overdo it. Even Seth Green or uh, Tommy Chong only said you need one hit. And just see where it takes you if you're a newbie or something to it. Like with, with Snoop Dogg and stuff, they've been doing it for a while. They know what they're doing. They, they, can, or what was, or they can just do it and not feel bad from it. I don't condone the use of weed. You should only do it if you're in pain or something, you got a back problem or something, or low self esteem, PTSD or something, or really bad anxiety. Um, if you do go through withdrawal from it, you can have nightmares or weird dreams. Not really nightmares, it's just weird, weird dreams. Um, it does make you sleepy. It can make you. Your libido go up, like really weirdly. Like say you're looking at YouTube and big boob women come up and then you're just watching them. Um, but uh, I just hope you guys are safe and okay and doing well. Um, things are going well in your life and and you're just enjoying every day like it's the last and you're happy. Um, with that being said, I just. Hope you enjoy my videos. I tried so hard to put good content out there. I try to be a good role model for you guys. Maybe Joe and Gypsy decide and the weed culture is not a good thing to do. I just worry about Gypsy. He'll get himself into trouble or something in the future. Um, I don't know if those HHC gummies are for me. I didn't know what they are. Honestly, I thought there was something you take when you get sick with COVID or something because I was... There's a chemical in weed. I forget what it is, but it helps with COVID. But those HHC gummies actually get you high. I heard everywhere from, I was researching, I heard every time they only get you high for a half hour or maybe 10 hours, depending on what they are. I don't know if they're for me. I don't know if I want to do them. There's five in the package. I'm kind of scared to take them. Is I worry. They say we can give you temporarily like schizophrenia or, um, I have a pinch of schizophrenia, a pinch of bipolar. I really don't want to talk about my mental illness that much at this. Um, but I will say I was having problems years ago when I first smoked weed and I relapsed in my illness. and I wasn't on the right medicine for my illness, my mental illness to do weed. And this Jamaican doctor I met at a hospital, he was really great when I went to a hospital, had to be evaluated, I wasn't doing too good. And, he was like, um, I'm going to give you this. It's going to be better. And you know, a Jamaican psychiatrist has probably smoked weed before and his patients have smoked weed. And he's like, I, I know what they need. And it's an old medicine I'm on. I don't want to say what it is. It's been people like me taking it for years. And I also take stuff so I don't get dyskinesia side effects like with the shakes. Uh, if you notice in my old videos when I was taking the other medicine in my hands, I like wiggling and stuff when I was working on mowers and things and stuff. And um, it wasn't good then, but I'm better now. Um, I really appreciate this, Gypsy. I was only kidding, and it really wanted you to send me one of these things that you did. And you knew what one I wanted because I love aliens and stuff. I even wrote a song about a masturbating alien. 
you think about it, maybe aliens did create us. There's even depictions of aliens and spaceships on the Egyptian culture walls and stuff in Egypt, I think, from what they're seeing on the History Channel. Who knows if it's true? I don't know. But, um, yeah, remember the History Channel used to do normal stuff, and then they got stuff about aliens on there, which is kind of funny. But I just hope. I'm not high now. I wanted to do this video so over. I, I didn't think, I thought about I was going to smoke this thing on this video or in a live. I don't feel comfortable doing that because I don't want to show. I don't want people are thinking that's cool. It's really not cool smoking weed. It's something you only should do if you're in, in pain. Like, like, like you just don't feel well or life's getting you down. And you need to escape. It's like self-medication. And people have done it for years. It does help some people. It does make things worse for people. People abuse it. It's not for everybody. That's what I think about it. But I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe Gypsy will send me a water bong in the future. Look up what a bong is. Gypsy, this is a bowl. But I really love this. I'm not sure if you sign me up for a bong in the month commercial or the month thing or something like fruit of the month, bong of the month. But I will say this to the woman that got the gummies or whatever the gypsy was talking about in his letter. I should have showed you the letter. I got it right over there. I meant to and I forgot. But um, it's kind of personal, the letter. I don't want to show it, but what gypsy wrote. But um, he to me, uh, but I really like this thing. It's beautiful. I don't know if you bought it on eBay or a smoke shop, but tell the people you got this from. It's very beautiful. I love it. If it's the same woman you got the gummies from, I'd be more interested in reviewing this stuff than natural gummies. Um, yeah, but this is really well done. I will say this. I'm, I'll just talk a little more. I, I like how it's got like muscles, like it's flexing. It's got little ball things like it's got muscles and stuff. i never seen anything like this before. If you do drop it, it will break. You got to be careful because it's glass. They do have silicone bongs and glass bongs. That's like a stoner's nightmare. He breaks his rig. I broke my bowl. I had a Rick and Morty one and it broke. I'll have to show you my Rick and Morty one in the future. Or maybe I just won't because I'm a little embarrassed by this stuff, but. This is nice. I think you're just supposed to sit it on a table with friends and smoke it like and stuff and just relax. But I try to make this video um, like for this is my fourth time making this and I it's kind of hard editing webcam videos and stuff and putting it in the program. I just rather just do a straight shoot and do a video. Um. But I'm going to probably shut things down. I might watch sliders. It's one of my favorite things to watch. I wish I got this video right the first time. Don't even even Gypsy wanted me to take a break from weed. He's like, well, he had a COVID shot. He, think he, was, he was thinking, he's like, can you like do the video Friday or Saturday? And give yourself a break, which I probably should have done. But I just wanted to get this up. And let people, Gypsy know and other people know I really enjoy this. I'm going to try this thing out right now. I'm going to relax and watch this old show from the sli uh, sliders from the 90s. About these four people that are friends and they travel the multiverse. They go to parallel universes and all. And it's like same earth. But uh, uh, different kind of storylines and stuff that happen on this earth like different kind of things could happen but um what else and uh it's from the 90s it's on peacock it's really good it's one of my favorite shows and that's kind of what made me depressed because i was thinking oh my god i was so young when i was watching it that show came out when i was like 16 and i was watching it came out in 95 like oh my god i'm so old now i'm 33 i still like these old shows but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't mind me smoking weed. I only do it because my back hurts. I'm in pain. and I just hope you got what you can out of this video. I love you guys. Uh, peace. See ya. Uh, see you in the next video. Ah, my glasses.
Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned I'm sober for this video. I wanted to be. Um, and like I said, I'm uncomfortable smoking this on a live or in a video. But it's, it's not hard. You can look up other people's videos doing it. Uh, part of me wishes I never started smoking weed. Is uh, it can become habit for me. It can become an addiction. You could become dependent on it. Some people smoke weed all day, every day, and they're they're high every day. Even Seth Rogen, when he voiced like Pumbaa on the Lion King, he was high during that. From what he said, and it's kind of off putting being high for a kids movie. It's kind of sad. I even told my mother that she says it's sad that he vo he was high for a kids movie, but. If it helped his mood, it helped him get his feelings out for the character of Puma in the kids' movie, why not? And what is great, when I was watching it, he even had that signature laugh that he has. That, <laughs> that Seth Rogen laugh in the Pumbaa. In the live Lion King on Disney+. Plus. But another thing, they're using weed for like people that have like stuck in wheelchair cerebral palsy. Or uh, people that have Parkinson's too, and it helps them not have shakes. I think even Morgan Freeman smokes it, from what I saw on Facebook, because um, he has fibromyalgia or something. It helps him. So we can narrate stories. I hope you got the information you wanted out of this video from me. I hope I make a good video. Please like this video. Please. Give it a lot of likes. If you watch this, just hit the like button. It doesn't take much. And then that helps my video get noticed more. I notice you people just watching it and not liking it as much. Even if you click on the video, just hit like. You can share them if you want. I don't share these weed videos or my lives on Facebook because I don't want my friends to know them. But someday I want to get famous on YouTube. Or at least get noticed. And I just want my followers, my fans, to come along with me and enjoy the ride. I love you guys. Peace. See you the next one. Take care, guys. See ya. Oh, this is like, uh, uh, I don't want to say what the sign means. It's kind of okay. Kind of, It's kind of like uh, an Illuminati sign. I hope an Illuminati knows me. Maybe I'll get famous, but I don't think they have because I'm not all that famous. I mean, some of my videos get cut, caught in views and stuff. I don't really feel it with the Illuminati, but maybe I kind of am because I think YouTube is, but who knows? Who knows what the Illuminati is? I, I don't know really much about it. I used to mention it on my lives and stuff, and I wasn't doing so good, but... Say goodbye to Dr. Seuss. Bye, Seuss. Or... Oh, it's not Dr. Seuss. It's Cat in the Hat. Man. All right. Bye, guys. My dog just farted. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs>